Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get Naruto live wallpapers for your iPhones. It's actually really easy and simple to do. It just takes a couple minutes. Now, if you guys are interested in this kind of content, I do have daily content showing you guys how to customize your iPhones in a lot of different ways. And the videos are usually just two minutes. So if you guys are interested in that, I really appreciate if you consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Anyhow, to get started with this one, all you guys have to do is go over to Safari and open that up. You just want to search for a Naruto live wallpaper GIF, just like I have here. And you're going to go over to images. Very, very simple. Once you're on images here, all you have to do is pick one that you'd like. So if we just scroll down here and looked at all our options, we can just choose one that we like. Now, the one that I was looking at right here that looks the best in my opinion is this one right here. Now, you guys don't have to get your GIFs from Google either. You guys can get it from anywhere, any application, as long as you can add to your photos. I just find that Google is a lot easier to add to your photos. So anyways, if you guys find one on Google like I have here, all you have to do is find it and long press on it. Then just click on add to photos. Once you've added it to your photos, you just want to exit out of here and just make sure it did. Go to your photos just like it did there. Perfect. If it doesn't, just try to click on add photos again. Anyhow, once that is done there, you just have to go over to the app store and click on it to open it up. And you want to download this application called Into Live. So just search for Into Live, and it's just this one right here, Into Live dash Live Wallpapers. So you just want to go ahead and download that first. Once you guys have done that, you just open up the application. Now, I've already used this application, so it's already past the tutorial point for me, but it might open up a tutorial for you guys. All you have to do is click on Next a couple times, then click on Get Started, and you'll be brought to this home screen right here that I am on. Now, all you have to do once you're on this home screen is just switch from Video to GIF at the top here. And then it will show us the GIFs that we have. So here's the GIF that we just got from Google Images. So just go ahead and click on that and it will open it up right here. Now, once you're in here, you guys can stretch and zoom how you would like to to make it fit on your screen. So uh, as long as the black borders are around, that's the regular size of the photo. So we can keep it the regular size and we can trim it later on once we're in the section of our wallpapers. So once you guys are on here, this is gonna convert it from a GIF to an Apple Live photo. So your wallpapers application will understand what file it is so if we just go over here to the top right and you click on make and it's going to tell us that we have to choose one of these options one being no repeat and then the repeat two or three times but those are pro features so we're just going to click on no repeat for the free feature and then once we are here we just have to click on live save live photo at the bottom so we're going to click on that ah. and we just have to watch this ad unfortunately so we just give this a couple seconds to finish up then just click on the x in the top right and we'll say save to photos now, one thing I'll mention as well is you guys might have to allow access to your photos. So make sure you guys do that as well. Obviously, it won't let you get to this portion. Anyhow, we can exit out of here and we can go over to our settings and open that up. Once we're in our settings here, we can scroll down and find wallpaper. Click on wallpaper. Click on choose new wallpaper. And then we want to scroll down to where we see live photos. Click on our live photo that we just created. And then you guys will see what it will look like right here. You guys can obviously zoom in more by pinching to zoom or zooming out if you would like to as well. Also moving it from left to right to make it how you would like it. So you can just go ahead and customize that how you would like it. Once you're done doing that, you can just click on set and then you can set it as your lock screen. And that is pretty much it. I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to get Naruto live wallpapers on your iPhones. If this video does help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.